Bula Malale, Telofa, and welcome to Season 6, Episode 4 of Breakfast Bites by TableBowsports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a bright and sunny Tuesday morning, 4th July 2023. Happy Independence Day, USA. Coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, round three of the World Rugby Under-20 Championship 2023 in South Africa sees the final pool uh, games taking place today with 10 teams still able to qualify for the uh, semifinals. The three pool winners and the best second place team will progress to the semifinals. So today, Italy versus Georgia, Ireland versus Fiji, and Australia versus England, while tomorrow New Zealand versus Japan, France versus Wales, and South Africa versus Argentina. Pool A should see uh, France and New Zealand going through to the semi-finals in Pool B, unless Australia upsets England, then Ireland and England go through. With the upsets from round two, Pool C is wide open, with all teams a chance of making the semis, depending on who wins between South Africa against Argentina and Italy versus Georgia. In Rugby League, the Rugby League experts have spoken. The Daily Telegraph's Phil Rothfield said of the New South Wales Blues selection yesterday, Our attack was terrible in Brisbane. That made Loai vulnerable. I don't think Mitchell Moses was bad enough to drop after one game, but I think a half half had to go. Jazz this side up a bit. Cody and South's teammate, Kion Koloa Matangi, are a lethal combination, Rothfield said. You give Cody that many tackles on their try line, I think they had doubled in game one. So New South Wales have had a lot of ball in the good in the good area. You'd think Cody Walker would break you down. He's going to get more than one try in that situation, Gordon Teller said it. Funny how no one in New South Wales media even mentions the Maroons. In football, Australian captain Sam Kerr says she will not wear a rainbow captain's armband at the World Cup to avoid putting everything at risk. FIFA on Sunday unveiled a range of eight different armbands carrying social media messages, which are permitted to be worn at the tournament. But the rainbow One Love armband is not among them after the design was prohibited at last year's Men's World Cup in Qatar. Obviously, we would love to wear it, like most of the teams in the whole world. uh, Everyone has voiced that they would love to wear it. But I'm not going to put this team at risk. I'm not putting the tournament at risk. We have to abide by the rules that we are given, really, Kerr said. In the Tour de France, riders were attacked by nails on the road of the final kilometers of Stage 2 in San Sebastian. About 15 to 20 riders suffered punches from around 20 kilometers to the finish line of the 209-kilometer ride through the Spanish Basque Country. A rider posted a video on social media showing his bike after the race with five nails embedded in the front tire. Race organizers are investigating the incident. And finally in tennis, yesterday was Wimbledon opening day, and the women's number one seed, Iga Swiatek, did not take long to get her Wimbledon campaign off to a winning start as she easily disposed of Zulin, ranked 34th in the world, 6163. As the world number one looks to add to the French Open and U.S. Open titles she has won in the last 10 months. Meanwhile, the men's number one seed, Novak Djokovic, eased into the second round amid farcical scenes on center court. The four-time defending champion defeated uh, Argentinian debutant Pedro Kachin, 6-3, The clash was delayed for nearly an hour and a half after the first set because of a damp court despite the roof being deployed. Djokovic had complained about the surface, but officials waited until the end of the set to cover the court, which proved to be a major error. The Serbian maintained good humor about the situation and re-emerged with a towel, which he proceeded to rub on the court to laughter from the crowd before members of the ground staff used leaf blowers to try to dry the surface. For TableForSports.com, I'm Kaldan Kamir. 
please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all, Tumas, for all your love and support.